Union Test Prep's Math Reasoning Practice Test for the GED exam. Please note, there will be a brief 5 second pause after answer choices are given. This is a good time to pause the video to solve. Question 1. Let fx equals 3 minus x squared and gx equals negative 2x plus 5. What is fg for? A. Negative 3 B. Negative 13 C. Negative 6 or D. 31 The correct answer is C, negative 6. The composition f g4 is asking you to substitute the value for function g into function f. First we have the following. Next substitute negative 3 into f to get the following. Question 2. Alex has 21 more marbles than Suzanne. Will has twice the number of marbles as Suzanne. There are 325 marbles among the three of them. How many marbles does Suzanne have? A, 152, B, 76, C, 97, or D, 100? The correct answer is B, 76. Since we are comparing Alex's and Will's number of marbles to Suzanne's, let n be the number of Suzanne's marbles. Then, Alex has 21 plus n marbles and Will has 2 n marbles. The sum of the marbles is 325. So, 21 plus n plus n plus 2 n equals 325. Solving for n, we get the following. Question 3. What is the length of the line segment AB if the coordinates for A are 2, 5 and for B are negative 2, 8? A, 5, B, 3, C, the square root of 85, or D, square root of 153? The correct answer is A, 5. The length of the line segment is the distance from A to B. Using the distance formula here, we get the following. Question 4. There are 700 feet of fence used to build a rectangular field. What is the maximum that the area of the field can be? A. 30,625 square feet B. 490,000 square feet C. 245,000 square feet or D. 61,250 square feet The correct answer is A. 30,625 square feet let the length and the width of the rectangle be L and W, respectively. The parameter, P, of a rectangle is 2L plus 2W equals P, so 2L plus 2W equals 700. The area A of a rectangle is area equals length times width, or A equals LW. We can write the area in terms of one variable only by substituting the parameter formula into the area formula. Now, 2L plus 2W equals 700, L plus W equals 350, L equals 350 minus W. And now we get the following to solve. Question 5. Let Px equals x to the third power plus 3x squared plus x plus k. If p1 equals 8, then k equals a, negative 3, b, 11, c, 9, or d, 3. The correct answer is D, 3. Substitute the given point of 1, 8 into Px, and solving for K, we get the following. Question 6. What is the domain for the function y equals x minus 2 over x squared minus 5x plus 4? A, all real numbers. B, all real numbers except x is not equal to 2. C, all real numbers except x is not equal to 1 or 4. D, all real numbers except x is not equal to 1, 2, or 4. The correct answer is C, all real numbers except x is not equal to 1 or 4. For a rational function, the denominator cannot equal 0, so the restriction on the domain will be the following. Question 7. Trey buys an $84 jacket that is discounted at a rate of 15%. The sales tax is 8.25%. What did Trey end up paying for the jacket? A. $71.40 B. $77.29 C. $72.74 or D. $69.30 
The correct answer is B, $77.29. Add the sales tax to the discounted price to determine what you have paid for the jacket. Since the jacket is discounted at 15%, you are only paying 85% for the price of the jacket, or 84 times 0.85, which equals $71.40. The tax paid is $71.40 times 0.0825, which equals $5.89. Finally, adding the tax to the price of the jacket, Trey paid $71.40 plus $5.89 which equals $77.29. Question 8. The height of a right circular cylinder is twice its radius. If the volume of the cylinder is 128 pi cubic feet, what is its height? A. 4 feet B. 8 feet C. 2 feet or D. 16 feet The correct answer is B, 8 feet. The volume, V for a cylinder, is V equals pi r squared h, where r is the radius and h is the height of the cone. Since the height is twice the radius, we can write the height as h equals 2r. Solving for r, we have r equals h over 2. Substituting r in the given volume of the cylinder, we get the following. Question 9. What are the coordinates for the center of a circle whose diameter has its endpoints at 5, 16, and negative 3, 4? A, 10, 1, B, 13 over 2, 9 over 2, C, 4, 6, or D, 1, 10. The correct answer is D, 1, 10. The center will be the midpoint of any given diameter of a circle. The midpoint formula is xm, ym, which equals the following. So the center is the following. Question 10. You take five tests in your math class. You make an 80, 75, 92, and a 71 on your first four tests. To have at least an 80 average, what is the lowest score you can make on the fifth test? A, 100, B, 80, C, 82, or D, 90? The correct answer is C, 82. Your average can be determined by adding your five tests and dividing the sum by five. Let X represent the fifth test. Since we want our average to be an 80, we can find the lowest score on the fifth test by doing the following. So as you can see, you must make at least an 82 to maintain an average of at least an 80. For free practice test study guides and flashcards for the GED, please visit us at uniontestprep.com forward slash GED.